Karijitis, Extremism and Dissent in Early Islam In the chaotic aftermath of the assassination of Uthman ibn Affan, the third caliph of Islam, in 656 CE, the Islamic world was thrown into a state of turmoil. This period, known as the fitna, intrigue, witnessed a struggle for power and legitimacy among various factions within the Muslim community. Amidst this chaos, a sect known as the Karijitis emerged, leaving an indelible mark on the course of Islamic history. The term Karijitis is derived from the Arabic word Karij, meaning those who seceded or those who went out. Their origin can be traced back to the discontent and dissatisfaction of certain Muslims, primarily from the tribes of Najd and parts of Iraq, with the arbitration process that followed Uthman's assassination. They rejected the arbitration and demanded that the new caliph, Ali ibn Abi Talib, adhere strictly to Islamic principles, particularly in matters of governance and justice. The Karajiti's main point of difference with mainstream Muslims, especially the early Sunni and Shia factions, was their uncompromising stance on issues of governance and their insistence on strict adherence to their interpretation of Islamic law. They believed fervently in the principle of al-amr bil ma'ruf wal nahi and al-munkar, which translates to enjoining what is right and forbidding what is wrong. This principle formed the cornerstone of their ideology and served as the basis for their actions. Their rigid and extremist views often led to conflict with both mainstream Muslims and other Islamic factions. They were notorious for debarring and even declaring other Muslims as infidels for perceived deviations from their interpretation of Islam. This intolerance towards differing opinions and practices within Islam led to violence and instability during the early Islamic period. The Karijiti's philosophy was characterized by the concept of takfir, which is the practice of declaring other Muslims as unbelievers due to perceived violations of Islamic principles. This notion contributed to their radicalism and the perpetuation of intra-Muslim violence. They viewed themselves as the only true adherents of Islam and considered all others, including mainstream Muslims, as deviants deserving of punishment. Geographically, Karajits were primarily located in regions of present-day Iraq, Arabia, and North Africa. However, their influence extended beyond these territories as their ideological fervor attracted followers from diverse backgrounds. In contrast to the Karajites, Shia Islam emerged from a theological and political disagreement over the leadership of the Muslim community after the death of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Shias believe that leadership should have remained within the Prophet's family, particularly through his cousin and son-in-law, Ali ibn Abi Talib, whom they regard as the rightful successor, Imam, to the Prophet. This disagreement led to the formation of the Shia sect which constitutes a significant minority within the broader Muslim community. While both Shias and Karijitis had disagreements with the early Sunni leadership, their theological and ideological differences are significant. Shias primarily focus on the concept of imamate, the infallible leadership of the imams descended from Ali and Fatima, the daughter of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. Karajits, on the other hand, were known for their radical and uncompromising stance on issues of governance and justice, often resorting to violence to enforce their beliefs. Additionally, Shias have developed distinct theological doctrines, legal schools, and religious practices over centuries, forming a coherent religious tradition with its interpretations of Islamic law and theology. Karajites, while historically influential, eventually fragmented into various subsects and were absorbed into mainstream Sunni or Shia Islam or faded into obscurity. Here I would request you to please do not forget to like, share and comment on the video and also subscribe to the channel. As we examine the legacy of the Karajitis, we are confronted with complex questions about the nature of religious interpretation, governance and extremism.
Their story serves as a cautionary tale, reminding us of the dangers of ideological rigidity and the importance of tolerance and moderation within the Islamic tradition. In a world grappling with the challenges of extremism and sectarianism, the lessons of the Karajitis remain as relevant today as they were centuries ago. Thank you for watching.